Hello everybody and welcome back. This video will start the next mini-series on forms, HTML forms. Now HTML forms are one of the best ways to get information from the users. You see forms all over the place on the internet. I have here one of the most popular forms on the internet. It's the Facebook sign-in page. You can either, this you'll notice on this page there are actually two forms. There's a form up here for you to sign in with your, your email or phone number and password. And then there's another form down here for you to sign up. Those are two separate forms. Each of those forms has inputs for first name, last name. You can pick your birthday, pick your gender, and then they have a button to submit them. This is a submit button that says sign up and it will submit this form. This is a submit button right here and it will submit this form. And really all forms do is they get information from the users. And then it's up to the server on the back end to, to figure out what to do with that information. So we have here the same web page we've been kind of building the entire course. You'll remember from last time we had the tables. I'm going to delete all of this because I've got a bunch of crap in here I don't need. So I'm going to delete it and leave just my boilerplate. And then we're going to talk about forms. To make a form is pretty straightforward. You just do a form tag. Now you'll notice when I create the form tag, Adam automatically plugged in an action here. Forms have at least one attribute called action, but oftentimes they'll have another one called method. So forms, the action is where the form submits. It's a URL that's listening for this form to submit it. So for example, I might submit it to https colon slash slash www.facebook.com if I wanted to. Um, I wouldn't because I have no reason to submit things to Facebook, but that's one way you could do it. More what we're going to be doing is submitting to a different route that we have set up for our web application. So I might put it to index or new or whatever, whatever it's going to be. So for right now, I'm just going to submit it to nothing. Then you have a method. This is your HTTP uh, method, either get or post are the two that the form that HTML allows us to do and we can do more in the back end and we'll get into the different HTTP requests later but for now we're gonna do git and you don't if you're doing git you don't actually have to put this in it does git by default so if you wanted to you could leave that out but it's good practice to go ahead and put it in that way you can be specific the two options that you have are git or post but we're gonna do git and that creates a form now, right now, this form does nothing. If I save this, refresh this page, I don't even have anything here because there's nothing in the form. That's just um, on the page. It's just saying, hey, you have a form here. So if I look, let me make this a little bit better. I have a form. There's a form there, but there's nothing inside of it. So that doesn't have anything to display on the page. So we need to add some input tags. So input by default there type text. So if I just save this and refresh my page, I now have a text input that I can type in. But again, it doesn't do anything. I can submit it. I can type in it in my response. And if I hit enter, it will submit that, but it doesn't do anything. So I could, if I wanted to put in a couple inputs, I might have like first and last name or something like that. And then I can have Josh Bastien, and if I hit enter and submit this form, nothing really happens because I don't really have much of a submit yet. So instead, I'm going to put a button at the bottom that says submit. Notice I have a button tag and whatever you want on your button goes in the middle. Let me refresh. Now I have a submit button. You'll notice that you notice that full page refresh when I hit submit, nothing happened, but it did the full page refresh. So I put Josh Bastien and submit. You notice the page refresh, and you also notice my HTML, um, I'm sorry, my URL changed. Down here at the side, I now have a question mark and the Octothorpe, which some of you probably know is a hashtag or a number sign or a pound sign. The technical term is Octothorpe, but hashtag works fine. So if I go back and I can put in whatever data I want here, but that's the basics of a form. You have an input tag. Um, generally speaking, you're going to have a form, you've got some inputs, and then you have a button down at the bottom to submit. Now, just to throw one more thing in there, you can have an input and the type is submit. It'll be the exact same. It works the exact same. It's best practice right now to do buttons because it's a little bit easier on the, the CSS. And it has a little bit better um, functionality, but either one works completely fine. Now, the only two inputs we have right here are text, but there are other types. You could have a number 
input, for example, where I refresh. And now you'll see it's got these little up down things on it where I can pick the number. And if I try and type letters, nothing happens. Oh, trust me, I'm trying to type letters. Nothing's happening. But if I type numbers, it comes right up. Not a problem. You can have a password. Save and refresh. And now as I type my password, you'll see it's blocked out. So that's that's how that works. You can have an email. Save and refresh. And now I type type. Submit. It won't let me because I have to have an at symbol. So let's put an at and submit. I still can't do it because I have to have something else after the at. Try that. Hit submit. And it works. So it's not perfect. I did, it's obviously not a working email address. And I also didn't have the .com or .org or whatever. Um, but it's, it's better than nothing. You can have a date. Refresh. And you get a little date thing. Now this is not the most useful little date thing in the world, but you have this right here, which is a lot more useful. And one thing to know is this is based on the browser, so depending on what browser your users are using, they may or may not get this cool little date picker. Um, so you can't really trust and rely on this, especially since a lot of places people are still using Internet Explorer 9 or some mess like that. So just be aware, but that is one cool feature that you get if you're using Chrome. You can have your type as a button, and you'll see it's just a little button. You can click, 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 click. It doesn't really do anything, but you could wire up stuff with your JavaScript. So there's just a bunch of stuff that you can ha you can put here for the different types. And we'll get into more of that later. And that is the very, very basics of forms with inputs. Thank you much. <laughs>